Hello, it's day four of the first assembly of the Plenary Council. This week, around 280 members of our church are coming together to pray and discern about the renewal of the Catholic Church in Australia. Today, I'm joined by one of the members of the Plenary Council from the Diocese of Parramatta, Father Wim Hookstra, who is parish priest at Borkham Hills Parish and Episcopal Vicar for Clergy in the Diocese. Welcome, Father Wim. Welcome, Christina. Thank you very much for your welcome and welcome to all of those who are listening to this uh, video or podcast. Thank you for making the time. It's been a pretty busy week from what I, I've heard. Um, so look, if we can ask you some questions, can you tell us a little bit about the topics that you've been, um, that your group is focusing on this week? There's 10 groups um, that are functioning and they're all trying to deal with some of the questions relating to the agenda. The, uh, the two questions that my group, which is group four, is dealing with is question seven of the agenda. How might we better embrace the diverse liturgical traditions of the churches which make up the Catholic Church and the cultural gifts of immigrant communities to enrich the spirituality and worship of the church in Australia? So that's the first question we're dealing with. The second question we're dealing with how might formation, both pre and post ordination, better foster the development of bishops and priests and deacons as enablers or mutual enablers, we'd like to say, of the universal Christian vocation to holiness lived in missionary discipleship. Now, each of those terms is very loaded, but they're the two topics that we're dealing with at the moment. It sounds like there is plenty to discuss. Um, <gasps> there is. There is. <laughs> so what sort of things have you been hearing um, in your discussion so far? Well, yesterday, our main focus was on the liturgical traditions of the different churches. What have I been hearing? It was actually rather mind blowing. Um, I, I think I've been a priest for um, 42, 43 years uh, just this year. And um, I, I, I think we're all aware of the Melkites and the Maronites and the Syro Malabar and the um, Ukrainian churches that, and, and the um, Chaldean church that have their bishops here in Australia. Uh, but I don't think I've. Um, really understood uh, a lot of their traditions or their liturgies. I, I suppose what I'm thinking is that we're thinking more of the, we, we tend to think more of when we talk about the Catholic Church around the Roman Catholic Church. And we forget all these other, <coughs> excuse me, all these other um, traditions that are very much that make up the Catholic Church. Uh, and they're all within us. They're all, and here in Western Sydney, of course, they're, they're all very prominent uh, in the migrant communities. Uh, or the immigrant communities, the ethnic groups that are here. And, and I think it's, it's an awareness of that that I think has, has helped me uh, understand a little bit more what this topic is about. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no, and, and, and so I guess, um, well, I know that um, Archbishop um, Tarabay is celebrating Mass, I think, tomorrow. It, 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 it sounds like it's actually bringing a lot of, um, I guess, a lot of, loose threads together maybe um bringing it all together in one forum yeah i i mean sort of it's 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 not only just the um you know, the different uh, liturgical rites that we're thinking about and talking to but we're also uh trying to acknowledge what are the cultural gifts of the various immigrant communities okay um i'm i'm very lucky um i've lived with a, a number of uh priests who are also chaplains to their various community at the moment. Father Chinonya, my assistant priest, is also chaplain to the Nigerian community. But I ask myself, well, what cultural gifts do the Nigerian community bring to our church? And I'm not aware of them. I'm, I'm sure they do. Father Chinonya, uh, you know, he goes off every second Sunday and he celebrates the mass for the Nigerian community. And I'm sure it's longer than 45 minutes. And it's a lot more singing, a lot more involvement. The Diocese of Parramatta, I think, are very lucky in being able to have such a wide breadth of um, experience from the different communities uh, that make up the diocese. Um, it's just now a matter of listening to them uh, and sharing with them and letting them share with us. Uh, and I think that that's where the, the spirit is leading this whole assembly, at least in, in our group 
that the spirit is leading his whole assembly to realizing that there is more than just our little group here. Well, it sounds like there's so much richness out there that we can all become more aware of. Yeah. Um, so today, um, what are your hopes going into today's spiritual conversations? Um, it's, it's going to be a bit more difficult, um, and yet it's, it's one that I'm sort of also interested in. Uh, I'm also involved in the uh, formation and the academic, um, what do you call it, the academic advisor for the seminary, uh, both and for the permanent deacons in the diocese. So, uh, and being vicar for clergy, uh, the idea of uh, continuing formation uh, of uh, everybody, uh, not just uh, bishops, priests and deacons, I think the important thing to remember is that we're not going to have all the answers in this meeting at this stage, okay? This is only the first um, assembly of the whole plenary council. There'll be another one in July. We've got nine months after uh, Saturday in which to reflect, to meditate upon before we make final or formal decisions that will go up for uh, for voting. Um, but it's it's been a, a wonderful experience, um, Christina, and I think I'm very grateful for um, all those who've put it together. It's, uh, you know, trying to get to, well, you've got 280, partic uh, 280 delegates, but you've also got about 50 or 60 parity or advisors uh, who are all sitting in and, and, and hearing what people are saying and, and there if, if we need it. And it's all being done by a Microsoft Teams and it's, it's fascinating and it's really wonderful. Um, uh, and it's, um, yeah, I, I really appreciate the opportunity to be able to do this. I believe, yeah. yes, and a lot of people, and of course, all the people who, um, all our parishioners and people who contributed in the very early stages, just to um, let people know that all the responses that were collated through the, um, from the Diocese of Parramatta, um, we've linked them onto our website so that we've got a um, some plenary pages on paracatholic.org and you find the link and you can go through to the um, Parramatta response and uh, the document that actually collated um, all those responses is, uh, is available um, on those pages. So thank you so much, Father Wim. Um, thank you, good, Christina. Yeah, good luck with today. Thank um, you, everybody. Yes. And... Um, and um, for everyone who's watching, yes, the live streams will continue. I believe there's no live stream except for Mass on Thursday. But apart from that, there'll be live streams of the reports of the sessions at 11 o'clock every day through to Saturday. Um, and um, yes, and thank you once again, Father Wim. Thank you very much, Christina. And thank you very much to all of you who are watching this. And uh, may God bless you and keep you and keep praying for us. Thank you. Thanks, Father Wim.